What's up, my little radish? It's time for me to cook breakfast today. And I said I'm going to cook breakfast. I don't want to eat anything out. And it's almost like 10 o'clock. Okay. So probably after we eat breakfast, I'm going to go to the gym. I would probably lie because it is Wednesday. So with that being said, it is what it is. But I have to take a little break right now. Okay, you guys, I'm about to make me and my son some coffee. He probably, um, you know what? He probably don't want to drink out of this glass when we got, we can get the clear one. And I'll get the one with something on it. But yeah, coffee time. You guys, that was an even amount. Let me show you guys what I make my coffee with. I got the Carmiac Caramel Mike. Wait, which one I'm gonna use? Oh, I'll use this one. I, I'm gonna use the Zero Creamer, Zero Sugar Added Caramel Macchiato, Starbucks brand. And I buy Starbucks coffee beans um, and grind them up. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salted caramel in it. And I forgot the real caramel, you guys. And some real caramel. I might put some whipped cream on mine. I don't know what he wants. But we're going to see for sure. That's the salted caramel. Then we're gonna hit it up with some caramel caramel. I'm gonna have to get that one because I'm gonna have to drink some of it out. supposed to be mine. Okay. I knew it was going to do that. Why did I do that? Thinking, well, maybe, maybe it's enough room in there for the lid. And I guess that's what I get for thinking, huh? I was going to say, should I say thoughtin? Because I said I thought, but thoughtin sound like, nah, I never thoughtin. Not that. <clears throat> you guys, I'm making pancakes. And that's what I call my pancakes. 
eggs and bacon for breakfast today. I'll put all this stuff later. But, let's go to this patio. I'm going to do this coffee. And I'll be back, you guys. Okay, my little rice. I don't know if I did a proper intro, but welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And that's also how you become an official low rider. You guys, right now I'm just I just made some coffee for me and my son, and I made it with I always get the call Starbucks coffee beans and grind them at home. And then I add my Starbucks Zero Caramel Macchiato Creamer with a little bit of salted caramel flavoring that's also sugar-free. And then a little bit of caramel, which is not sugar-free. But it tastes just like a caramel macchiato from Starbucks. Right now, I'm getting ready. I made that um, coffee, and I'm getting ready to make some pancakes, eggs, and bacon, you guys. And you guys can see what's up while I'm doing this. Putting the bacon in the little... Um, griddle and i like using that because the bacon doesn't stick even though i have i don't even have any non-stick pans anymore you guys because a long time ago they said that they were dangerous and all this other bull crap but anyway, i don't have any but i'm gonna get some more because the little pans that i have they're nice and they cost a pretty penny but stuff still sticks to them and they're non-stick they're not non-stick so with that being said i'm doing that now i'm mixing up my pancake mix you guys and sorry, I didn't have the camera adjusted down to the bowl, but I think I'll let you guys see. And in my pancake mix, I put a little bit of cinnamon, vanilla flavoring, and that's it. And I use bottled water. I like my pancake, the consistency of it to be like, I don't like no thick pancakes. I cannot stand them. I like mine to be sort of thin, but not like crepe thin, but thin and with the crispy edges. Somebody said, I like my pancakes to look like they got stretch marks on them. I call them like lines in the earth marks, but somebody said like stretch marks, but it do look more like stretch marks. So when you cook them and they look like they have the little stretch marks and the crispy edges, yes. Now this time I said, you know what? I'm gonna cook my pancakes in butter. And the first pancake came out pretty good, you know, but the butter was just kind of brown on the edges of the um, griddle. So with that being said, I went back to my grease my cooking oil, I should say. Pancakes came out perfect. They had the stretch marks on them with the crispy edges and everything was wonderful. So I'm not gonna talk too much more. I'm just gonna let this video go through and I'll come back in when I get to the egg part because I have something to say about the eggs. And just like that, the smoke detector went off. I was just thinking about turning that vent on, but it's so loud. Okay, I cracked my eggs, and I'll get back to what else I have to say about the eggs. But it's time for my bacon is almost done, so I'm gonna take that off the little off the griddle, and I'm going to pour my bacon grease in my little bacon container, bacon grease container. Should that grease come in handy when you want something to have a different little spice to it, a little taste to it? You add a little bit of bacon grease, and you cook it with grease. <laughs> get it? Cook it with grease. Anyway, I'm just washing that out, the griddle out, because I'm going to be also making my eggs in there. No, I'm not. I'm going to make my pancakes in there. That's what I'm going to do. Making sure it's dry, putting some... Okay, I started off, I got the grease out, but then I said, no, oh, maybe I'll use some butter. However, <laughs> bacon is crispy and done. And I started off using butter, like I said, and then I didn't but you guys will see all that okay and then let me tell you about the eggs because um i'll be on this part all day long talking and talking talking the eggs you know the white stuff that be and the eggs when you crack them i don't know how true this is but somebody that was a chef per se told me recently i don't want to say like two years ago that 
the white stuff in the um egg is the sperm. I always thought it was an umbilical cord, but whatever the case, I started taking that white part out. I get a little fork, and then I just um stick it in the yolk where the egg part is, the white part is, and it'll be it goes on the fork. It's very easy to take off. So I just didn't feel comfortable eating. I don't know if it was sperm, it was the umbilical cord. I didn't want to eat either. Okay, so I take that little white part off. You guys, now this is the perfect home for John Crispy Edges. Yes. Give another one with some crispy edges. And the cheese eggs are over there. I put these in a bowl in the same plate. I'm gonna put them in a bowl because some folks might not want the um egg. And there you guys I'm the queen of disposable plates, cups, bowls, and forks. That's another thing about the cast iron. That was just heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Now for vlogging purposes, what I'm gonna do for you guys is take my first bite so you can hear the crispy edges. Mike is done. Okay, now this one needs to be cut a little bit more. Okay. And I have to use this, you guys. The best syrup is the right thickness. It's not runny, like log cabin, or I think it's Aunt Jemima syrup. That stuff is real. Real. You have to look at the eggs on here to make the thumbnail look appealing. And I don't know how y'all are. Open it up. Put this right here. Is that a good enough thumbnail, you guys? Okay. Let me get a crunch. Let's see. That one. Mm-hmm. Guys, my pancakes are just everything. They're perfect and they're light. Mmm. They're not thick and doughy. Mmm. Cooking and eating and straightening out the kitchen at the same time. So, yeah. 
one that's going to get it. Hmm. That's all I got for you guys right now. So I'm gonna finish eating this breakfast and drinking my coffee. And then I'll be back when I'm making dinner. I guess it's, today's gonna be like a have breakfast and dinner with me. We shall see. Okay, my low riders. I'm getting ready to go get the, to the store to get what I need for dinner tonight. It's not a lot, but I do have a list, so I won't forget anything. Most likely, I will still forget something, okay? So with that being said, I'm about to head out this door. And I was going to take my camera to vlog, but since I started this off with my phone, I'm going to finish it with my phone. Let me see, got everything I need. Let me have my end downstairs. So I'm gonna get this over with. Yeah, I better see her grandson. Yeah, she's up there too. I can still look at you. You guys, we at Smith, and in the southern state, it's called Kroger's. Come to get some dinner stuff and the other stuff. Oh, I can't take this basket. I cannot take this squeaking. I'm gonna go get a different basket. Yes. Just getting my produce for my baked chicken. You guys, I didn't put them in a bag because I gotta wash them off anyway. And let me go to my list so I can take this off of the list. Okay, went down this aisle to see if they had edge control. I don't know why I was looking for edge control in the grocery store, especially in Smith's. And it wasn't there, so didn't go to the beauty supply that day. Went the next day. Okay, guys, we got everything. I'm dropping my mother-in-law off to her house. Mike is helping her take her stuff in the house. So all I gotta do is go home and cut up the bell pepper, put the chicken in the um, oven. And I'm taking a shortcut. I'm making some canned greens. I already doctoring them up because I'm the lazy cook. And um, rice, the cream of mushroom. I got some mushrooms to put in there also. So it's gonna be really, really delicious, you guys. And that's it for now. Um, yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. And I think this video may be my Friday vlog. I don't know, you guys. I had no idea. But I might add something extra to it tomorrow. Since I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I need to start writing stuff down. But... When I write down, I'm more productive. I just stay, stick to whatever's on, on my um, 
vlogging list, but I didn't write anything down this week, last week, or the week before. Okay, guys, back from the store. Got my paper plates. I got the water. Lunch meat, not getting bored yet because they had a recall on that. We had lettuce. We got smoked oysters, four cans, actually five cans, foil. It says spreadable butter, but I'm going to use it for other stuff too. No, it's not spreadable. And coffee. The four different color bell peppers. Bacon and mushrooms. And two disposable pans. I only need one right now. Oh, and then we went to the Chevron and I got my Sprite Zeros. And he got him some beers. Moist fun that is, some beers. And that is when I'm getting ready to wash my hands and start seasoning this, chi this chicken. And I will show y'all what it looked like after I'm done seeing. I might see it with you guys. I don't know. We'll see. Give me a second. Okay, my little riders. I'm getting ready to chop up my vegetables. And I forgot yellow onion. I knew I was going to forget something. I told you guys that, though. I forgot the yellow onion. So all I have is bell pepper for the vegetables. And that's it. They make it hard to open that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of butter in the pan, smear it all around in the pan so the chicken don't stick. Chop these bell peppers up. Okay, got those vegetables chopped up. Now I'm just seasoning my chicken. I put a little bit of lemon pepper, a little bit of accent, a little bit of ground black pepper, and I'm looking for the Worcestershire or Worcestershire sauce, whatever y'all want to call it. No, I was never looking for the easier pepper because I don't want to put that in there. Now I'm looking for the Worcestershire sauce. And a little bit of Lowry seasoning salt. It looks like a lot of seasoning, but it's not good. You know what I need to put the this? Oh, you know what? That's why, because I put it on um, after I mix everything up. Look at that. All those veggies, y'all. Mix that all in. My hands to be dirty while I'm cooking. Now, that's the Worcestershire or Worcestershire sauce. And I forgot to squirt my lemon juice on there, putting a little bit more butter on top of it, you guys. Yeah, this chicken about to be bomb. There's the Worcestershire sauce. Put foil over it and then put it in the oven.
To make my room. No, I'm just showing off my, my ring that my husband got. My new wedding ring. That's three carrots right there, you guys. When I add the bands, it'll be five. But not bragging, just want to show that I love my ring. I'm trying those oysters, the TikTok oysters. And the can, I guess, supposed to be like Winters Rockefeller. I had it once before, but what was that? Now let's see how it tastes. You do it in one Okay, my little riders, cooking dinner is almost over. I'm gonna drain some of that excess water that comes from the chicken and grease from the butter out of there, and I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna add a few more seasonings because I can tell that it's not, almost, not enough seasoning on there. So put a little bit of seasoning um, salt on there. Stirring it all up so all of it could have some on it. You guys, this chicken smells amazing, you guys. The vegetables. And then here's the, where is it? The worst, Worcestershire sauce that I'm putting on there. Squeezing some lemon juice on there. Yes, it's about to be good. Put the foil back on and put it back in the oven for a few minutes because the chicken wasn't all the way done. I told y'all I was making some greens and they was coming from the can. I don't know why y'all didn't believe me, but here's what it is, child. I'm gonna doctor those up, put a little bit of that bacon grease in there, some accents, some black pepper, some seasoning salt. Yep, let me go get my little bacon grease. There we go, because I was too lazy to fry some bacon up, so bacon grease will do. I'm gonna sit that in the microwave until it's time to warm it up. Now I'm gonna make my mashed potatoes, you guys. I was gonna make rice, because I was um, getting my rice cooker out, but then I figured out that we had no damn rice. Usually we have rice, but my husband is a rice bandit, so I'm just going to make some boxed mashed potatoes. Might as well, shit, I made canned greens. But either way it goes, it's going to taste good. Okay, you guys, I'm just putting up my little seasonings. Get ready to make these boxed Idaho mashed potatoes. Yep. Since I'm making canned greens, might as well make some damn box smashed potatoes. They're going to come out good. I'm going to add a little bit of extra butter, butter, put a little bit of seasoning in it, do a little razzle-dazzle, you know. It's going to taste good. It's going to have to do. You guys, it's crazy. As many times that I made these potatoes, I always read the box for the instructions. I should know this by heart already. As many times I have used this. And even with reading the box, they said for better results, 
Use milk on the third step. I didn't use milk on the first couple of steps, okay? But it's still going to taste the same. And I also put a little bit of that um, chicken broth powder in there so that my mashed potatoes will have that good little taste to it. Here I go put my stuff back up again. I don't know how many times I put it up, take it out, put it up, take it out. But guess what? I guess it's just the process. The joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was troubled before Don't know if I'm dreaming I'm slipping away Okay, you guys, I'm going to use one cream of chicken and one cream of mushrooms because I do have mushrooms in my... What am I doing in my hair right now? Any guy, anyway, you guys, I'm going to use one cream of mushroom and one cream of chicken. I was going to use that, but that says condensed. Now, the final step, you guys, I drained all the excess juice out of it again. Now, I'm adding my um, cream of mushroom and my cream of chicken to it because I don't want to take the time to make gravy, so... This makes that making not making gravy real easy for me. And then you can still put this over the um, cream of chicken and cream of mushroom over the mashed potatoes or it was going to be rice, but now it's mashed potatoes and it'll still be a good substitution for gravy. So I'm, now I'm going to put it back in for about 10 more minutes. My cream of mushroom chick baked chicken with mashed potatoes and greens. And we put the cream of mushroom with the vegetables on top of the mashed potatoes. And that's all she wrote. Okay, you guys, this plate is made. And oh my God, it smells and looks so delicious. But what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to eat a little bit on camera. Let me see what's happening with it. Okay, set my grace. Let me see. Let me see you guys. What's going to happen? Mm-hmm. It's busting. It's busting, y'all. It's good. So good. See, there you go. See, try to share a little bit with you. Those greens taste like they didn't have any seasoning, I guess because it was packed with so much water or whatever, but I just put a little bit of seasoning salt on it, but let me tell y'all, it was good. I dang on there, ate the whole plate in front of you guys. Look, busting. Had to do my happy food dance, busting. Okay, my low riders, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way through the video, I really appreciate you. And again, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And that's also how you become an official low rider. Okay, kitchen all clean after dinner. About to lay it down. And my son just fell asleep in there, child. Ate and fell asleep.